I'd like you all to look back at Lamb and smile, and he's going to start the video. Okay. Yes, thank you. Lamb. Right. And by the way, I think uh, he is the only lamb at the table, right? Yes. 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 No beef. No beef. Oh, yes. yes. If we were in Jerusalem and if there was a temple, we would have lamb. Yeah. On the table. But, he, but, but lamb would be our token lamb. Diane, it's beautiful. Yeah. All right. Beautiful, Diane. Okay, so everybody, if you would just pick up your Passover Haggadah. I, I, I'm trying to find myself a bit. Okay, this is the Haggadah, but some of you are already uh, uh, picking up the, the book Awakening. Now, this was from Diane. That's a gift for all of you guys. That has nothing to do with the Passover Seder. No, it doesn't. It has nothing to do with this, okay? Thank you. It looks like, I think through it, it looks like it's probably a nice introduction to, um, to Judaism, to, to you know, Jewish practices. So, um, so... I hope no. you enjoyed that. Oh, yes. I know the publisher. It's a good publisher. All right. So back to the back to the Passover Haggadah. Can everybody hear me? Okay. Down yeah. There? Yes. All right. So we have the Passover Haggadah, and Haggadah means the telling. So that's the traditional name for for this book. And, uh, you know, many people put together Passover Haggadahs nowadays. Um, I, I made sure to make this very traditional. And yet, uh, it's not all in Hebrew. <laughs> so, to be, you know, that would, that would be um, very traditional. So, uh, but we'll, but we'll have something to do with it. Yes, yes. Uh, so, uh, also, this event here, this meal, is called... The Kabbalah supper right now. Really the Kabbalah supper. But when when uh, I'm going to call him Yeshua, but Jesus is who I'm talking about. Um, when Yeshua had that last supper, quote unquote, with his disciples, it was a Passover seder. Okay, so uh, and they didn't all sit on one side of the table either. By the way. So that was just uh, Leonardo da Vinci, right? Get it. So that was a photo op. Is that, is that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, so it was a Passover Seder. The term Seder means order because there is a specific order to this evening, which does include food, by the way. So it includes a, a very nice meal, which uh, uh, Diane and others have worked very hard on. So, uh, so first of all, thank you to Diane for hosting this. Is there anybody that you would like to thank, you know, just in terms of... All of them. Okay. Well, Monica brought chicken, so thank you, Monica. <laughs> yeah. That, and for helping. Camille for bringing wine. Yeah. And Margaret for bringing wine. Thank God, thank God. And laugh for tape. And laugh for And laugh And laugh for And Okay, thank you to all of you. All of you guys, thank you. Don brought some extra wine too, which is good. All right, thank you guys. So, the Passover Seder or the order of events, and, and we have that in the, the Passover Pagadah here. It's called, by the way, it's called the, the telling or, or uh, recounting because we tell the Passover story uh, during this Seder. So um, we will, I'll explain that you know, in just a little bit, but let's find the order of the Seder, and that is on page, I need my glasses, page eight. So on page eight of the Passover Haggadah, And you'll see that everything's in order here. There's 14 parts to this evening. All right? So, those of you who are mathematically inclined, each part takes about 45 minutes, so we're going to end when? Uh, tomorrow, so I don't know. I'm just kidding. I'm um, just kidding. It's not going to be that long. So, um, at our home, by the way, uh, you know, on the first night of Passover, including the meal, um, it lasted about three hours. So, here, don't count. All right, so, at, in this order here, you can see 
Ecclesia it starts with the reciting of the Kiddush, which is the cup of sanctification. There's going to be four cups of wine, uh, or grape juice, if you prefer grape juice, that's fine too. So um, on the table there should be both grape juice and wine. And uh, and so when you fill up when you fill up your cup, pace yourself. Keep in mind, you know, how much if you're drinking wine, how much do you want to drink total in the evening? Because there's gonna be four cups. Okay? You don't have to fill it up. But you do but you are to drink whatever you put into it. Okay? So uh, so pace yourself. So the first, so we'll start with that first cup. There is, um, you can see, there's a washing of hands, and um, hopefully all of you have washed your hands just, you know, in preparation for food. But um, but there's two washing of the hands. Usually in traditional Judaism, there's only one. But uh, but one of them is well, both of them really are just ritual hand washing. But there's a reason for having two, and and we know that that. We know that most of this was part of the order of Yeshua's Seder as well, including the hand washing, and we'll, we'll try to talk about those things and relate them to what the gospel tells us about, what the gospels, I should say, all together tell us about that last evening. So, um, and that includes the hand washing. There's some significance there. So, um, so we'll go through all of these things. There's... Um, uh, the breaking of the middle cup. So there's a reciting of the Passover uh, story. Number six, we wash hands again. Uh, we we say a blessing for the the matzah, which is our bread, which is our, really our blessing for the meal. Um, and so after the meal, um, we have a number of things to do as well. Now, we don't want to we don't want to try to get bogged down at the beginning of the seder here because the best part is after the meal. I mean, well, I, I mean, that's my personal bias. The best part, and, um, and something that we relate the most to Yeshua, uh, both what he did and what he's going to do in the future. Um, all those things are related after the meal. So this is the way the, the, the Seder really works. It's in two parts. So the first part is going to be looking back at the redemption from Egypt. Okay, so Israel, and we're all to consider ourselves as though we have personally come out of Egypt. Okay, so we're participants in this uh, remembrance. So we all came out of Egypt. God delivered us from Egypt, from bondage, from slavery. And the idea was to bring us into freedom into the land of Israel. Except that they took a, quite a detour, right? Took, it, it, was, it was actually, in fact, in the book of Deuteronomy, it says it was only how many days journey? <coughs> what was that? 17, I think. I think it was 11. But you know what? We'll look it up. So at some point, uh, we'll, you know, we'll look it up. So it was but a days. It was just a, it was a day, a day, you know, not not a long journey. But, of course, it took them 40 years. Right? So it took quite a few details. That was, um, uh, but eventually they came into the land of promise. And that was, actually, Moses didn't actually get to go in. Um, and, and it was Joshua who took them into the land of promise. So that's what we're remembering. We're remembering this great deliverance. You know, keep in mind, Egypt was the world power of that time. So, you know, you know to have this, this tiny nation, relatively speaking, there were only 70 that went down to Egypt. Uh, some accounts say 74. It depends on how you count the people. But, um, but 74 went down to Egypt. And then some two to three million came out, uh, you know, a couple of hundred years later. Some of you might be thinking 400 years later. There's a reason that it's not 400, it's 200, about 200 or less. But, but it's amazing, you know, that just the, the growth, the population growth of Israel and coming out with two to three million people. So that's what we're, that's what we're really celebrating in this remembrance here tonight, at least before the meal. And then, after the meal, everything is future. Everything's looking uh, to the future. Future, in other words, God's redemptive plan is not over. You know, we talk about the, the death and the resurrection of Yeshua, but then 
there is also the restoration of Israel at the return of Yeshua. And so, you know, and that's, you know, there are a number of different symbols for that in the Passover Seder. And, and that's why I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm saying that, you know, when I put this Passover Haggadah together, I, you know, I wanted it to be traditional. But, you know, even the Orthodox uh, Haggadahs today don't really specify very, uh, very specifically that we're waiting for the Messiah. I mean, it, it, they don't go into it a lot. There's reason for that. But, the, but when we take the traditions all the way back to Yeshua, and especially up until probably just 50 years ago, the, the Passover Haggadah was, was as you'll see it tonight. Okay, so, um, so everything went before we're looking. And that's why I say after the meal, you know, don't miss it, you know, and, and let's not get too bogged down with time either because, you know, we don't want it to be midnight, you know, when we start. We don't want it to be maybe 8.30 or 9 o'clock, you know, when we get started with the, uh, the second half. And, uh, and then it'll only be about an hour after that. So our goal here is to end at least by 10 o'clock, even before that. So, um, you know, that's why I say, you know, we don't want to get, there's a lot to do. And, um, and so we want to keep things moving up through the meal and then afterwards as well. Okay. So uh, let's, let's go ahead and, by the way, we have our timer set for about 7.40, 7.50. So, yeah, somewhere around that, when I, and you'll see that it's dark at that time. And then um, uh, when the alarm goes off, no matter what we're doing, we're going to just um, officially end the Shabbat day, the seventh day, and enter into the first day of the week. So um, uh, we'll do that. And there's also what we call the counting of the Omer. I'll explain that uh, later. But the scriptures tell uh, the Jewish people to count a certain number of days from Passover to Pentecost. Now, there's a, I mean, just the word Pentecost gives you a hint of how many days you're counting um, up to that holiday. Hmm? 50? 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. 50. So, so we're counting, and, and actually, to, um, I, can't, I can't tell you what it is tonight. When we counted last night, uh, it was day two. Okay, so when we get to the end of Shabbat, we'll also count the Omer. It's it, you know it's just a, a very brief thing, uh, but we always say everything with a blessing. No matter if if we're if we're doing a commandment, you know that God has put into His Word. There's in in the Jewish faith, there's always a blessing that goes with it. So we're always thanking God for His instructions and for the opportunity to to do what He tells us to do. So and, and you'll notice there's a lot of blessings here tonight as well. So we want to do this with a thankful heart, um, and and as we bless him, you know, just let yourself draw near to God, you know, and 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 really just desire His presence here tonight. So um, you know, that's there's there's you know that's part of the goal of this, and of course, with God's presence, the goal is always that He transforms our lives. You know, so, you know, to, and transforms us so that, you know, so that we're relating to other people and relating to the world like, like Yeshua himself would. You know, so that he fills us with his love and with his character as well. Amen. So, you know, as we draw near, you know, just keep that in mind. Amen. And if you have any questions... During the Seder, that's encouraged. So you can ask questions. It's Elijah. Is this our last two? Elijah's early. Elijah's early. Elijah's early. Elijah's early. Elijah's early. Elijah's early. Elijah. Right. Elijah. And he's even got a beard. Oh, really? Huh? He's, yeah, he I is. I thought of that. You're not going to go. It's Elijah. Okay. Let us go to page nine. All right, everybody at page nine. All I want you to do is look at the pretty pictures of the two candles. Okay. 
All right, on page nine, you have the, the pictures of the two candles. We're not going to light those until after the Shabbat. And, um, and so we'll go to page 10. Now, page 10, you'll notice this is the first cup of wine. He's coming right here.
Blessed are you, Lord our God, King of the universe, who has kept us in life, sustained us, and enabled us to reach this season. Now we, we can drink. Okay. Can we recline here now? And if you want, okay. That's going to find a hard to breathe in too far. Oh, you need to. Hello, I'm outside now. I have to come like a bunch of bottles. Yeah. 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 It's just gets good. So by the way, in the, in the, you know, this, this tradition of leaning to the left, um, it's, it's really a symbol of, of being free people and, and being able to recline at the table. But this was a tradition in Yeshua's time as well. So in the gospel, in the, in the gospel accounts, you see Yeshua and his disciples were, were leaning and, um, and one of them had, uh, you know, was leaning, it says on, you know, on Yeshua himself. And, and it was, and it was John. And he asked him at that point, you know, who is it that's going to be trading? You know? Oh, it's not me. You know? And, and so uh, it was a very intimate time at that, at the uh, Passover Seder. So, all right, just now, straight down the second door. To we the, come to, to the right. Second door to the right. We come, we come to um, the, the section here that's called Orchatz, which is the washing of the hands. Now, we're gonna we're gonna do this a, a little bit here, but but I mentioned that there's two hand washings. Normally, uh, for a meal, there's there's only one ritual hand washing, and I emphasize ritual. You know, because this is not the hand washing that actually, you know, makes your hands clean. It's, it's, it's ritual. So, this, again, Yeshua followed this order, this Seder. And there was, there was a purpose for this. One of the purposes for this first hand washing is that the leader of the Seder would do something unusual, something very unusual, so that it would uh, stir up questions. Because the Passover Seder is all about asking questions and learning. No matter how many times you've done the Passover Seder, it's a learning time. And, uh, and so we ask each other questions. Well, Yeshua did do something unusual at this point of the, of the hand washing. Anybody have any idea what that might have been? Minerva. Yeah, they, they, Yeshua washed their feet. Okay. Why is that significant? On so many levels. Um, at this point, at this point, you know, remember that last supper, that Seder, was the very night that Yeshua was going to be arrested, and then he would be crucified the next day. So Yeshua, at this point, you know, he, they, his disciples really didn't understand that he was going to die, that he was going to be executed. But, they, but he was making it clear that he was going to go away, and where he went, they could not go. So they couldn't go with him. And so, what were they doing? You know, the, uh, you know one of the things that the Gospels tell us is they were, they were asking each other, you know, who is the greatest in the kingdom? Or not, not even the greatest in the kingdom, they just said, who is the greatest among us? You know, and it's, it would be really easy for us to think, wow. So it would be really easiest for us to think that you know if this was just an ego trip. You know, you know who's who's the greatest among us? You know, I'm, you know I've done this, I've done that, you know that kind of thing. But no, the issue was who is going to who is going to be the leader while Yeshua is away? You know, is is what they were thinking. Well, what was Yeshua's response to that? Who did he say would be the greatest among them? Exactly. He said it would be the servant of all. Well, who is the one who, if you're in a, if you're in a rich home and you have servants, who would be the ones to wash the feet when people come into the home? It would be the servants, right? So Yeshua is putting himself in the place of a servant. The irony of that is that the whole Passover Seder is a celebration from being slaves in Egypt, which is the exact same word as servant. You know, it, it, it's the same word, you just have to take it in context, avad. So, 
So Yeshua was putting himself in the place of an abad, of a servant, and washing their feet. And he's saying, if you want to be great in God's kingdom, you have to be the servant of all. You know, so, so he did something unusual at this point for the purpose of, you know, of conversation and, you know, stirring up conversation and questions among the uh, disciples. And you can imagine, you know, have, I mean, there are objections, you know, Peter's objection to doing this. No, no, don't. You cannot wash my feet, uh, Yeshua. Uh, but, but Yeshua, he says, you know, I, it's, I need to do this. And, and so he was setting an example for them. To, to, to humble themselves and to become as a servant to each other. So, we're going to have a, a, a chance to do a little bit about that, uh, that, except we're not going to wash each other's feet, okay? So we're just going to, we're going to stick to, um, to just a ritual hand washing and, um, and get, how many, um, how many of the bowls and pitchers do we have? Do we have one? Three. Should we have three? Okay, so we're going to do this in sections here. Um, and... Let's, um, how about with Pat, um, all the way, Joette, Joette, okay, all the way from Pat, all the way around the table to Joette, Patty, Patty, thank Pat and Patty, Patty. okay, yeah, I know, right, okay, <laughs> all right, well, it makes it easy for us to remember your name, so, okay, so from Patty on down to Alex, how's that, and then, they yeah. called you Elijah because you came into the, the door. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Jim? Jim? Okay, Jim. Uh, Jim, all the way down to here. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Jim, you told me your name. Priscilla. Priscilla. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. So so if we'll have all, all of you, um, and, and what we'll do is, I'll, I'll, Carol, uh, we'll, we'll show... Um, have what to do here, but you'll take the pitcher of water, um, hold the basin, um, you'll put your hands over the basin, and just pour a, just a little bit of water three times um, on the hands. You can rub them together if you want, and then just wipe them off with a towel. So it's just a little bit. You don't have to soak your hands. Um, and then and then once you've had your hands washed, do it for the next person in line. Okay? Does that sound reasonable? Okay. So... Alex all the way down to Patty, and then Pat all the way over to Joette. Okay. Not a Manny Petty. Okay. And Jim all the way down to Priscilla, and is this your son? Yes, Brady. Okay. And Brady, three draw. Okay. So, um, Jim, you're going to get to to start this off. There's no blessing for this. Um, so you've got the pitcher, and um, I'll just. I'll, shoot, I'll so like, start with Margaret. Might, yeah, you might want to. Well, I guess you can sit. Yeah. So. Um, you move this one. Okay. Spoil her. Yeah. So you just put. Put your hands. Like yeah, just put both of your hands over there. Just a little. All right. I don't open my fingers. So I don't. All right. Did you get dropped? Yeah. And then you can do it for him. Monica? That's his towel? Yeah, but he has to put the towel over our hand. Either you or Patty start. I'm not going to go. Then you're going to do the last one. Open your fingers. Hands up. Hands up. Yeah, you can do it. One, two, three, two. Three. Put your hands in there, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> you those hands? I feel blessed to be able to it. Oh, you're so sweet. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and then I do Don. Yeah. 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 And then is she getting hurt? Oh, do I do you? Do you? I, I'm done with this. Yeah. Oh, okay. 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 Um, okay. We can pour from the top. It's like represents the As you're doing this, just remember you're to be a servant to each other. And then you do the idea. Oh, you already you did yours. As Donna Summer said, I feel love. I feel love. 
That's a great video. You gotta watch that once in a while. Found this time, I feel love. It's a great video. I don't know, but her video's still on the air. Still on YouTube. Obviously. Is she alive? Sorry. Did it say that? Yeah. More so than Michael Obama. Are you okay? Thank you, Thank you. That is, that is cleansing and refreshing. The mom used to do that. Thanks, Barbara. All right, ma'am. So we'll have you put your hands over there. Mm -hmm. Praying position, we'll put this under your arm for that. We'll put your hands together as, you, as if you're praying to the good Lord. No, 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 this Lord. is Monica, you see this? One. One. You know what's coming? You know what's coming? The good Lord's going to pull on you. There's one. There's two. There's two. There's three. You let me know if you want to see the line. And then you're going to help out Miss Priscilla. And you, Priscilla, do you want to pass that to me, young lady? Thank you. Okay, that was the different one. That's a political one. Yeah, I saw it. Do you want me to hold the bowl for you? Oh, that was the doctor. That was the one with the doctor. Let me try. Yeah, you did that. Okay. 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 Oops, sorry. Yeah, hold them way yeah. over the. I'm hole. sorry, I'm sorry. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You're okay. It came out faster than it We'll get something to dry you off. Okay. okay. We'll get something to dry you off. That's okay. I just threw it all of my dick. Oh, you're fine. Not a full bath. I'll just a little cleansing. Let me go ahead. I'll take a picture. Well, let me be. This time I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Called the carpas. So the carpas is the eating of green vegetables, and this is also, by the way, the blessing for all of the snacks that Diane wanted you to have here. So um, if you're if you're hungry already, um, it's going to be uh, probably a good hour until the meal. So we're going to give you a chance to get some snacks here if you like this. Well, yeah, you want to be hungry for the mozzarella soup, definitely. 
Okay. Yeah, there's snacks over there. Dan, are you doing matzo balls right now? Things yeah. I can eat. Okay, so, but what we're going to do um, as part of the blessing here, what we're going to take a piece of parsley. See that piece that Carol's got over here? Take a piece of parsley from the Seder plate. So you'll have to pass the Seder plate around. You're going to videotape me making this, man? Yes. <laughs> Okay, so as you get the parsley, we're going to be dipping this in the salt water before we eat it. So you'll dip it in the salt water. You can pass the salt water around. There's, there's bowls uh, anywhere on the table here. Dip it in there, hold it over your plate, and you'll say a blessing. Nice to see you, my friend. Did you get one? Have some. Okay. Uh, you don't have some. Yeah, water? we have some here. Okay. Is that, is that, can we have some water? Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. 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 I'm going to say the blessing in Hebrew and then join me in English. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam Orei parih ha'adamad Amen Blessed are you, Lord our God, King of the universe, creator of the fruit of the earth. And we can eat the parts of the song. So this is a song that we sing often. Uh, because, because again, this speaks of the coming of Yeshua. It's you know because Elijah will come before uh, the Messiah. Verses, by the way, that's in here. There is. Oh, they're on the table back there. Right in front of me. 
Okay. How many of you have sung this before? Okay. You're up. You're up. All right. So there's a chorus that you're all going to join in on. So let's sing the chorus so we can learn the chorus first. Verses, just three verses, and then right after that, we sing it in English. So see if you can uh, see if you can sing that in English after the Hebrew. So. She's not there. She's she's being a grandmother, right? Oh, I'm here. <laughs> I'm here. Oh, okay. All right. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna read the verses, and then every two verses we're gonna break into that chorus again. Okay. So each person, uh, each person reads one verse, and then the next person reads a verse, and then we break into the chorus, and we just keep on going around. Okay. So it'll be Minerva, and then what is your name? What is it? Emmet. 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 Like truth. Oh, we just sang that part. Truth in Hebrew. Okay, so. So we're starting to like this. I think so. So Emmet, it'll be Minerva, and then we'll go to. And then we'll go to Joette. You're 27. Okay. All right, so you got to read nice and loud, Emmett, okay? Oh, except uh, your grandma's going to be first. Is this your grandma? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. So you can just go ahead and read that, and then Emma will read the next one. Matthew out of Egypt, but not ex executed judgment on Egyptians. Dainu! Uh, okay, now that's the other thing. We gotta yell out Dainu uh, after each of these. Okay, Dainu! 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 Destroyed their idols, but 
not slain their firstborn. Dainu. Had he slain their firstborn, but not given us their wealth. Dainu. Dai 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 Their wealth, but not split the sea for us. Dainu. <laughs> Had he split the sea for us, but not brought us through it on dry land. Dainu. But not drowned our oppressors? Dainu! Had he drowned our oppressors in it, but not provided for our needs in a desert for 40 years? Desert forty years, but not I fed us you. with manna. Thank you. Do I go to the next one? Jim, you're next. Oh, uh, oh, it's up here. Okay. Had had he fed us with manna, but not given us the Shabbat? Thank you. Sinai. Had he given us the Torah? Had he brought us here to Mount Sinai, but not given us the Torah? Dai 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 but not brought us into the land of Israel. Dainu! Had he brought us into the land of Israel, but not built the holy temple for us. Dainu! Dai, 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 dai.
Uh, by the way, any of you know how to say hallelujah in Hebrew? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Right. <laughs> Where's my Kobe pie? <laughs> I keep getting the rice. <laughs> All right. Okay. So, now another Hebrew lesson here. Um, we're going to be singing uh, next year uh, in Jerusalem. Lashana Haba'a Birushalayim. Next year. Uh, may he come uh, uh, in Jerusalem. In the land of So, um, so this is another, one of those traditional songs that we can't leave without singing. So, okay. uh, repeat after me. Leshana Haba'a Birushalayim, which means in Jerusalem. Leshana Haba'a Be'eretz Israel. So in the land of Israel. Be'eretz Israel. All right, so let's give it a try. I'll start slow, and then we'll build it up. Leshana Haba'a Leshana Thank you. Thank you for Thank you. the videoing and for being here, being our Passover lamb. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. What do you want? All right. Lamb did it. Documented. Yeah, document. Take a picture of that. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Professor, hey, shalom. I, I would like to return to you this one. Oh, because my channel has been gone. shut down. Yeah, gone. Is, is there anybody that saves things? That's amazing. We're supposed to save it somewhere. Yeah. Anyway, so they have it somewhere, and we don't. 
Sorry, that I couldn't okay. help you, okay? I'm very sad. Yeah. I hope to find it somehow, but I don't know how. Any of your Vietnamese friends, do they, do they save your material? No, I don't think so. Amazing, amazing. Yeah. I, I think that will happen many times. Yeah. <laughs> good Sorry. To see you. Good, oh, to see good to see you. Yes, yeah. good to Sorry. see you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. You see? Yeah. It, it stay with me almost a year. Yeah. Yeah. It's been a year. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Ông nhờ thu lại cái video ổng bị cảnh sát làm khó dễ khi ổng băng ngang đường khi tụi này đi quay pro live nhưng mà cái channel đó là cũng bị tụi YouTube nó gỡ xuống nó bị mít từ bị đóng rất nhiều channel cho nên không thể giúp được ổng ổng đưa mấy cái cái USB đó rằng nếu mà có download được thì đưa cho ổng mà không được thôi cả năm rồi bây giờ trả lại cái USB cho ổng ông đó là professor